Stay away, Satan. <laughs> Hello! Hello! 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven. Yes. Yeah, it's just 7-Eleven. is kind of better though. Convenient. McDonald's. Like, okay lah, I get that like microwavable stuff is really convenient because like, like the food is already ready for you. But for me, I think the food walk to me, wah, power. I like to take food out of the fridge, right? Mm -hmm. And heat it up in 30 seconds, it's ready to eat. Yes. Yes, I have. Back in Polly. Oh. There, there was like, do you not have yeah, like yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah. the sandwich, the group. Yes! Yeah, that's nice. That was good. Uh, recently, my house downstairs started to have a lot of vending machines popping up. Mm. There's even like a salad vending machine. So they sell like soba salad, quinoa salad, even like overnight oats. Do you guys know about the smoked salmon one? The smoked salmon vending machine? Which one? It used to be so cheap, then inflation happened. They give you 200 grams of smoked salmon. Oh. It was like 290 in sashimi as well. Oh, and I love so vending I bought, machines. I bought like 10, and I went home just like, yes. <laughs> that's all I'm gonna have today. Like a full meal? From a vending machine? Oh. I've never gotten a full meal. I've only gotten the sandwich, you know the... Ah yes, the hot one. Like, always in the uni, uni Correct. always have. Maybe the freshest food I've ever had, right? Closest to a meal, maybe yeah. orange juice. What I like about those machines is that they show you through this transparent screen, right? Uh -uh. What exactly the process looks like. I have to say, it's very satisfying when I watch other people buy it. And they're like, wow, like Charlie and the chocolate factory. I know recently there's the very viral cake from Japan. Like you have to buy it from a vending machine. Yeah, but it's Japan. Japan has everything. They have... No, they have... it came to Singapore. Huh? Yeah. No. It looks so no. pretty. Yeah, it came to Singapore. I want to see pictures. Oh, oh my oh god! My god. Okay. Okay, I have not personally seen this, but I've seen pictures and videos of it, right? Uh, there's this vending machine somewhere in the east, right? That gives out like salmon. Oh. Like sushi grade salmon or some shit. Right? And it's insane because like like it's wild. Because I know that there are a lot of vending machines in Singapore selling weird stuff. I just haven't gotten to try them. The most exotic thing was the smammon. The smammon. Smammon. Okay. Nice. I'm quite excited to see what. Been a while since I've been on a straightforward book shoot without being sabot by the producer. <laughs> it doesn't smell like a like a Western soup. It smells like a Chinese soup. Eh. Nicely. It's, it's kind of like chicken soup, but it's, like... it's it's very thick chicken soup. Right. Yeah, oh my god, you know what it tastes like? What? A little bit like the Korean ginseng chicken, the soup. A bit without the ginseng. <laughs> so just soup lah. Yeah, like the chicken <laughs> soup. Okay. I don't like it. Really? Why not? Because the oil aftertaste is very cow and it makes me feel very jelak. It seems like they legit drain the entire chicken. They <laughs> squeeze the chicken. <laughs> yeah, that's what it tastes like. Your chicken stock feels like they boil the chicken in water, but this one feels like they, they just drain. They, yeah, they strain the entire thing. Yeah. You know what this reminds me of? When you brew a bone broth for yeah, a yeah. long time. I'm very sure this is a bone broth. Then you get that thickness to the texture of the soup. Mm, I, I don't mind that. But the taste is is good. I like it. It really is very potent. Wow, you took out your rings for this. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Am I a savage? Am I not civilized? Ooh, wow, it smells yo, damn nice. Yo, it smells so good. I, I want to say right away, I looked at this and I immediately thought it looked like the chom chom chicken wing, which is delicious. This is like cold storage level. Mm -mm -mm. Ding. Boop. Mm. This reminds me of teriyaki chicken. It doesn't really taste like barbecue chicken, but it's still yummy. I think it's quite a sweet seasoning or Soft. marinade that they right. use. Yeah. For vending machine chicken, it's juicier than I expected. Eh? Okay, honestly, I, I can't taste the garlic. I thought it was honey glazed. The taste is really good. Eh? It's good, it's good. But I have to cook it myself. I think it defeats the purpose of the convenience part of vending machines. The salmon! This is not the salmon I was expecting though. Okay, uh, basically it looks like bakwa. Bako. Yes. Yes. That's the only thing you can Yes. Do. Yes. Clink. 
I'm no sashimi connoisseur, but pretty good. Cheers. Ding. Mm. This isn't the smoked salmon one, right? Mm. This is the sashimi one. I actually prefer this. Really? I love smoked salmon. Smoked salmon is a little bit too salty for me. Oh, I like it. okay. Interesting. Because I thought the texture, right, didn't really feel like sashimi that I get from, say, a Japanese restaurant. The texture is a lot more flaky and powdery. So now this, if like, it's under your glob, then like the sushi places are closed. Mm. Your Genki, your Sushi Express, then yes. Yeah, it's, it's good. Okay, there's a sweetness to the fish. It's a very refreshing flavour. The fact that it's like a cold salmon almost feels like my like buffet and eating sashimi from ice. <laughs> Chef in a box. Ayah, Chef I mean, this is in a this box. is like reliable. Chef Seafood in a box. Ho fun and beef bulgogi with rice. Ah. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> I've never tried it or heard of it in my life, but everyone seems to know it. This looks like it has come from a convenience store. Whoa, sorry, by Chef Kim Dong Su. Thank you. Oppa. <laughs> what? Oh, smell it! Smell it! Damn! Mm. That smell better than expected. Okay, so there's rice. There's, there's a rice. little small portion egg. of omelette. Yeah, egg. Egg. yeah. Then egg. there's this bean thing, looking thing. And of course, beef bulgogi. Beef? And we chomp. Fits the definition of bulgogi, I guess. The texture-wise, it feels very overcooked. So it's quite dry. And it's a hint of sweetness. I wouldn't say it's too sweet. I'm so sorry to the chef on the on the paper. Cause he's, oh, co he's Korean, right? Kim Dong Soo. I feel like this doesn't taste like the beef bulgogi I had in Korea. Mm -hmm. It tastes more Chinese. I don't know why, but the beef is very flavorful. Mm. It's not dry, oh. and everything goes very well together. It's good. It just doesn't taste as Korean as I thought it would be. And where is the kimchi? You know those like hot plate bulgogi in those kopitiam. That's about it, huh? It's not something to scream about. Like, I won't recommend this to people. But if you are hungry and you just need to fill up your stomach, then it's a decent meal. Hold up, it really looks like yes. legit ho fun. But the kui teow colour like correct. Got colour one ah. Yeah, I got the chart colour. <laughs> <laughs> now seafood implies that the seafood was frozen, cooked and then refrozen in the machine. So I'm curious to know what kind of texture the seafood will be and whether, you know, usually seafood often what do you get, right? Shrimp, squid, fish. Fish slices if you're lucky. And those, after some temperature will be... Uh... Feel like porridge. Eh? I don't know why. Like good porridge or bad yeah, porridge? Yeah, good porridge. Well, like, this smells like Hofan. Like. Really? Yeah. Okay, let's see if it's very saucy. Yeah, that's my favourite thing about Hofan. Okay, the tzap must be gao, must be thick. Uh. There's not a lot, but I think it's also because it was frozen. Flavour is good, but the texture of the noodles is very... It's very soggy. soggy. Yeah. So like the usual Ho Fun Kui Teow, right? It's, it's a little springy. bit more firm and springy and chewy. Mm, mm, mm. But this one is just downright it's just soft like... and soggy. Well, okay, we try the shrimp first. Okay. I think that's the hype because Literally, right? There are only two. That's a surprise. Why? It's sweet, it's crunchy. I feel like there are restaurants where the food did not come from a vending machine where the shrimp is worse. Wok hay element is in there. Mm. And for the price, like if I were to get ho fun, I could just go to get ho fun. Correct. And then, like, I get the flavor that I want. Mm -hmm. Maybe slightly cheaper. I had high hopes for this, really? considering how popular it was. As John would say, the most convenient meals, yes. it's all in one Correct. bundle. To contextualize for those of your new subscribers, hello, welcome to eBook. My favorite type of food is wrapped up food. So it could be this, could be popping, whatever. I have very high standards when it comes to wrap. I make my own wraps at home. So this is the, the brand shake salad. Okay, the cool. soba salad was quite good. It smells good. It smells like a wrap I might have bought from an actual salad store. Oh my god, yeah. And I the think, vegetables yeah. smell very fresh too. This tastes like a very, very healthy wrap. Yeah, I feel like my, my arteries are unclogged now. Alright, bite time. Cheers, and just to prove a point, it's like a cup. I'm gonna eat with one hand. Oh my god, this is so bomb. Meanwhile... Oh, it's good. Oh. It's good, it's good. It's actually really good. This is good. It's actually really, really good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. 
I actually really like the balance between the meat and the vegetable and I feel like this is quite up my alley in terms of mm. my food choice. And I feel like it's seasoned enough for it to be tasty but it's mm. not overly seasoned so it does still taste quite healthy. I'm actually very surprised at the amount of fresh vegetables inside. They are pretty generous with the chicken. Yeah. With every bite there's chicken. I love Mexican beef wraps. Mm-hmm. Oh, come here. The beef is very creamy. It's super ground up. It feels more like a puree mm. rather than minced beef. I can actually taste the bean texture more than the beef. I really like the beef marinade and the beans together. The seasoning, mm. right? Uh, vegetables, like as usual, still crunchy. Tomato, still juicy. The cheese is taking a back seat. We don't, it's not that salty, which is surprising because most of the time that's where it packs a lot of flavour. But yeah, I don't mind it, man. I, 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 I think it's great. Because I'm more of a beef person, so I actually prefer this one. Which one do you prefer? The Greek Caesar chicken. Oh! I can do this better. Interesting. I mean, I'm not bragging. For me, I feel like it's very substandard. Okay. For a Mexican beef wrap. Mm. In terms of like flavor, though, I I think it's okay. Yeah. The oregano, the cumin powder, we can taste it. You know what I love? That there's healthy food options from a vending yes. machine. And this is best before the 25th of September. Assuming you bought this today, right? Uh. It has a shelf life of a couple of days only, which is a good sign because that means they didn't put any preservatives, the ingredients are fresh. Hey, no, this one is for me though. Oh, please, chicken. Oh, I know this one. What's that? Meatball with cheese sauce. What is I this? I didn't know Bobo. The packaging is not very informative. <laughs> It's the same right, thing. It says Bobo Pop. Of course, we can all assume what Bobo Pop means. Bobo Pop just means what? The Bobo will pop. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's go. Mm. Oh my god. And there's cheese inside. So yeah, it's like know. cheese on cheese. I love mm. it. Is it gonna explode? I'm gonna take this as a yes. Yeah, explode that. Uh. It is cheese ball. Nothing I can really say to describe it. But there's extra cheese. The outside cheese is different from the inside cheese. The outside is nacho. The inside is dono. Oh my god, you know what I really like? The cheese inside is more savoury and the dip is sweeter. Correct. So they go so well together. I can see myself going to the cinema and eating this. Mm. It's so decadent. This wow. is great. This is great. Wow. That's so good. That's so good. Prawn based chicken. Okay. Fight me. Mmm. Okay, but it's crispy. Yeah. But how is it crispy? I, that's why I wait, but she's not good. How is it crispy gonna, when it came from a vending machine? For those of you that don't know, have you heard of the meat umbrella? Meat umbrella! Oh! Ow, so hot! So now, I'm just gonna dip this. I wanna say it tastes fresh. It's so good. Mm. I smell more of the prawn paste than I taste the prawn paste. I taste it on the outside. Ah, maybe it's not marinated all the way in. That's right? Way. And this chilli, I have to say, Bobo, your chilli game is on point. Eh. This is sweet. Awesome. It's very sweet. Definitely I will buy it. This yeah. one? Oh this my one god. Buy five. If I like want so to Netflix at home, that's yes. okay, wait, oh. what? No, I mean, eat what? The whole balls? Day? Whole day. Whole day, I eat the ball. I think the chicken wing is nice. But is this a convenient eat? No, not really. I don't think so, mm. right? Look at my hands. I don't like to make my hands dirty, but I commend Bobo's wing that is able to slide meat umbrella style. So nostalgic for yeah, me. Yeah, like Because I used to get them in school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay! Wow, oh, this is a throwback. Yeah. It is the same thing I used to have from secondary school. Shall we try it? Yeah, let's go. Mm. Mm. Yeah, this is actually exactly how uh, I remember it the taste. Except like, you know, when you get it fresh, right? Mm. Like super hot, you can't hold it. You're like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. 
This is so good and so nostalgic. I remember this to be a lot nicer than it is now. <laughs> I think also because when it comes out from the vending machine, it's super duper hot. You have to be like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and usually when you buy this, you're really, really hungry. So it's probably a lot more satisfying back then. Yeah. I would say it, it's my go-to sandwich flavor also back in school at that time. If I'm hungry now, I will still get it if it's available. Give thank you respect. for existing. Like, thank you so much. Yeah. Helped me through really tough times <laughs> when I was rushing and late for class. <laughs> and um, the flavor it was good. I think it's a very simple sandwich and it mm. tastes healthy. Mm -hmm. I like that the sauce of the meat and everything is still really juicy, really flavorful. But I think the meat can be a little bit spicy. Not in the chili spice sense, but in the more aromatics. You can really see the melted cheese layer. And you can see the, the pepperoni, mm -hmm. which is basically Atta's way to say ham, ham and yeah. cheese. I just remember both of them, like in general, were really good back then. This one has more spices, more flavour. I think because ham got more marinade. It's really, really salty. When you get this completely hot, right, what happens is the bread is super crispy and the cheese will be super melty. Mm. So when you bite, right, there's a pool. But overall, I would say it's like decent for a snack. It and tastes like cheese. a ham and cheese sandwich that's grilled. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it's something I can make at home. So, you um, go with me, la. I will! <laughs> now! No. You continue yourself, huh? <laughs> Oh my god, no way! I know this is so clear, okay? The combo used to be 450. It's no thanks, I'm gonna go and get pasta somewhere. <laughs> Yo! Wait, what? It's so big. It's so like, is it? It's like a cake, right? Yeah, yeah it's a cake, but like, oh if you open this, then I'll oh, find out. Yeah, I think it'll open. You like thing. matcha? Yes! Oh my god! It is the cake in a can! Matcha cake can! That means the can tastes like matcha. Um. No, yeah. just tastes like plastic. It's so pretty. Yeah, there's jelly, then there's like matcha cream. Who, who gave it the right way? So pretty. I know. Stop it's it. It's so pretty. Okay, now that the can is open, I honest to goodness thought that these black circles were ingredients. No, they have to be. I'm gonna stab it Are right they? now. Stab just it, stab to... it, stab it. Oh my god, they are ingredients! Ah! Cheers! I'm actually quite excited. I'm not a dessert person, but that is good. It's so creamy, but it's not gelat. Mm. Okay, I'm so confused by the texture. I am surprised, but pleasantly. You really must eat with the bottom. Very yeah, important. you have to, you have to. Because the, cake, the cake is at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. top is all cream. cream. But oh my god, it's so complex. It's like chocolate cake, and then like there's the matcha cream, and I think there's like the normal fresh cream, and then there's like jelly, and then after that you get the heat from the oven. I'm guessing now mm -hmm. of gelatinous nature. It's probably like a coffee jelly because that's usually the ingredient that goes with these two. Oh, I got it. Bamboo charcoal agar. Right, so I was completely off. Mm. So as I was saying, usually it's bamboo. Oh, oh. It smells like the strawberry. <clears throat> oh my. Wow. I personally am not a fan of cream, but I think it's really just a taste preference. Right, Usually right. when I'm having cake, right, I'll scoop the cream off. I see. There's a lot of cream in this cake. So, because like my favourite type of cake is strawberry shortcake. So right. I've had like a lot of strawberry cakes in my life. And this one is then freaking good. There are no fresh strawberries, yeah. but there's a lot of strawberry looking things. Like your agar. Oh, once again, we also have almonds. There's more cake to this one than the yeah. matcha. Yeah. I'm also not the biggest fan of cake or mm -hmm. cream, but I think this one is done surprisingly well. I'm not a dessert person, but I absolutely love both of them. I'm not even a matcha person, mm. what the heck? No, no, keep that away from me, my diet. <sighs> I guess more for me. Stay away, Satan. <laughs> it's really like. His no. self-control is non-existent. No, really. stop. My only gripe is, this kind of food is usually meant for convenience and eating a cake from a can is cool, but it's not convenient. I can't words. even describe. I can't use words, words. Yeah, just now you saw when we all just ate, right? It was just silent. It was just silent. It was just like... Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you know the food is good when we well, are not talking. Yeah.
Oh my god, I know what this is la. The orange juice. Ah, the orange I've juice never machine. actually had it. I've, I've never had you it. Never, you? It's good, it's good. Yeah. I know you haven't done it. So this is really a review for you, okay? Yes. Like what's there not to love? It's literally just it's oranges. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, fresh. It's good! It's nice! It is as fresh as fresh juice gets and I saw them squeeze it in the machine. <laughs> they curate oranges. their oranges very well because all the juices that I've got from the machine are sweet. Mm. But you know when you go to supermarket, not all the oranges you get are sweet. Wait, let me explain. When you buy juice from a fruit stall, right, usually what happens is that they will also add ice and that dilutes your drink further. So the cups right, that they serve, maybe at a juice store, it might be around like this, mm. this, this size, right? But there's ice, so you get more water right. than juice. It's not something I'll buy. 100%, but I think it's great. <laughs> Three, two, one, cake. cake. Yes! So I easy! So, yeah, but I'm not a good <laughs> dessert person. The cake one really was damn good. Oh, it's so. pricey, but guys, it's imported. It's I very it's pretty. It for the price. I it for the it's price. delicious. I mean, you can't go wrong with Japanese cakes. The one that is new that I enjoyed the most has to be the wrap. Ah! The good answer, wrap. good answer. I was yes. gonna say the same, the Greek Caesar chicken. Oh! Yes. The chicken meatball. Yes! I told you it's the same answer. Oh, it was so it was so worth it. It's like what? Yeah. Less than four dollars, right? I get four four, four balls. delectable balls. chicken balls. This one's a hard okay. one. Okay, if it's like worth its price, I would say the hot fun. For a meal, right there, full meal will definitely fill up your stomach. Five dollars. Yeah, same. Mm. Definitely. I would get the chicken meatballs again and the again. Chicken meatball, if yes. I walk past. The chicken meatball, yes. And the... if if I actually walk past, I would stock up. The wrap I would get oh. again, like after gym, or like before gym or before whatever. I feel like if it comes to vending machine food, right, I have to be at a level of desperation to pick it up. I need to have like no other options. Look at it. But <laughs> this is an exception because my alternatives, right, which are say fresh uh -huh. fruit juice stalls, right, I think fresh fruit juice stalls will be more expensive. So this is my exception. Okay, I, I, I will have to say don't have. Because vending machine food is something that I wouldn't say not nice, right? I enjoy all the food here. I didn't. There's not a single one that I didn't enjoy except for the collagen soup. I would probably go to 7-Eleven to get a microwave meal. It's a hypocritical to say. But not a vending machine one because it's just no, no feels. Thank you for watching this episode of Taste Testers. If you enjoyed this video, you can watch more over there. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye! Bye! I have a food coma. <laughs>